why getting started is more important than succeeding. And hear me out. Um, the other day I started, um, I've been working on for a while. Well, I've been thinking about other, how I could, uh, organize my, my bedroom closet. I have the, the least amount of closet space in this apartment. And, um, I should have known better than just bringing in all of my stuff from my previous apartments without truly editing what I needed and what I didn't need. So this was almost three years ago that I've had really limited closet space. So anyways, I've been thinking about it for a while. I did some small organizations, no true decluttering. Um, and, you know, it was a holiday week. I had less clients, a little bit more time. And so I took advantage of this time and I pulled everything out. And I didn't do anything outside of just pulling everything out of these two small closets in my bedroom and put everything on the floor and my sofa in the bedroom and the bed. And, um, I cleared off the bed before I went to bed and the next day I decided to go at it a little bit more, but it was just starting. It was the beginning of the success of it being completed. It was super frustrating, extremely exhausting at times. Um, but I was very motivated and keen because I had started, um, that's a big thing to do. So maybe, maybe don't start with, it. um, but I do feel so much better right now that I did that. I gave so much clothes away to Goodwill and got uh, did some e-electronics waste, e-waste, and um, and brought some stuff to consignment. So there's that. But what I what I do do is like if I want to start a project and I need some sort of motivation, um, is just starting. Is like just opening up a Google doc or taking out a piece of paper. I use paper pretty regularly. Still. I like to, uh, there's like the tactile feeling of writing things down. Um, but I eventually move it to a document online, my Google doc. And, um, but just, I write down a couple of sentences. I'll write down a bullet point of like what it is, that, like a few bullets or a, a paragraph that's unedited. And that is like a little bit of a boost, you know, um, I don't do it every single time because I, I have some, you know, I have, I have some other stuff that are going on. I can, you know, I have to, I'm a little bit depressed sometimes. And, um, knowing this, the, the small thing is just like getting one, you know, a couple sentences in or taking a walk. If I, if I feel a little disorganized or, you know, I just need to take like a 10 minute walk. I'll just say, I'll walk around the block two times. I live right beside a school. And so sometimes I'll just walk the circumference of that a couple of times. And then I'll end up wanting to go for a walk. And then I'm like, okay, I need to go get a few things from Whole Foods or, you know, just, you know, I'll keep clearing my mind. So there's like something about just getting started. So that's like, you know, that those are two really big examples um, one in the closet to, you know, the walk. And, you know, there's just something very inspiring about just like taking the initial step because then it then leads you down a path of a little bit more success, um, makes you feel a little bit more motivated. I mean, I think a lot of us, and it, it's very human to consider or wait until we're like completely motivated to get something done or, to, to start a project, we're waiting for everything to align. There's a little bit of a perfectionist quality to it. There's like, you know, thinking we need to like, make sure that like we, you know, we have the energy and sometimes like taking that initial step leads to like the energy that you need to do it. Um, you know, it's like going to the gym. I, I, I use this example in my life. Most of the time I don't like going to the gym. I mean, I do, I love the benefits of it after, but there's, you know, like just getting there, just like saying to yourself, okay, I'm going to spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes on the treadmill and do some weights and then I'm going to go, but then you get there and then you do a longer time doing some cardio you hit the weights, you want to stretch, like the next thing you have like an hour and a half there. If I told myself I'm going to spend an hour and a half at the gym, 
whew, that would be really tough for me. Some days I really don't mind it. And I'm like very excited to hang out at the gym, but, um, you know, just getting yourself like there is like, um, just a big deal. That's like getting started. And if you don't have a gym membership, like taking a walk, you know, writing down what you're going to do the following day, like the next day, and just like writing what you need to do. So you don't have to think about what you're going to do the next day. It's already laid out for you. So just whatever it is that's going on, like consider how you can motivate yourself by just getting started and knowing that getting started is more important than the success of it, because, you know, the success is really just like subjective. It's really like, you know, you want to feel good. Um, you just want to feel like slightly accomplished. I feel very accomplished now. I will tell you, I was very overwhelmed when I was doing my closet and uh, I actually had to get very real and honest. Like, you know, I was listening to a lot of different decluttering videos and, uh, you know, I was feeling very motivated and feeling all the experiences of all like these hosts that were having these conversations on like, um, you know, I, I needed that motivation. I needed to hear that, like, oh, they struggle too. And like, it's hard to let go of like a dress you got 15 years ago that you loved. Um, and like, it's totally out of style. It totally doesn't fit you again and you don't care to fit it so much. And so like, it can go to someone else, you know, like, there, you know, you need to just get it started. Like nobody likes to declutter, at least in the beginning. And it's never easy, you know? And then when you get, when you start it, you're like, oh, I just need to get rid of all of this stuff. So I had to like, really also make sure I didn't like throw away my flip-flops because like, I do like summer. Um, and so like just putting those away and, um, but getting motivated enough to be like really real about like, okay, I do not need these things anymore. I am not going to wear this thing anymore. Um, and then, you know, just like going to the gym, all of that stuff. So it's no, just remind yourself that there's, you know, the, the, the success is really just getting started. That's like the biggest success ever. And I, I share this on New Year's day, the beginning of 2024 and uh, feeling very inspired now that I clean my own closet. And I hope that whatever it is that you're working on right now, that this inspires you to take this little inspiration and maybe write a couple things down or take a short walk outside, get that fresh air and, um, you know, have a very healing and grounding and inspiring and, and successful year that is based purely on what it is that you need in this moment right now. And maybe it's just a little nudge for me. All right. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Do a little hair twirl. <laughs>